Hi everyone! So today I thought I will come in with this book review. So this is the book that I have shared with you I um, think a week or two weeks ago and um, yeah so today I want to give you a good insight of this book because it is absolutely brilliant. So uh, it's called Flower Color Guide and it's by the publishing house of Faden and the authors are Dara and Michael Putnam. I hope I'm not butchering their names but there they are. Um, so I didn't hear um, about them before. I didn't know who they were until this book. Um, but I'm sure if you are from US, um, probably you are well aware of them. And I'm pretty sure I have seen some of their works um, in fashion magazines because they have a very distinct, beautiful style. Um, so what is this book about? It's about flowers and it's um, very different to all the other flower and gardening books uh, or botanical books that I have. It's a um, great format, so it's a nicely kind of small book, small in the sense of the, you know, the width and the, the height. It's not a very large book, so it's very easy to pick up and um, give it a flip through. So that's that. And then it is very thick, though. So it's filled with 400 images of flowers. So um they are photographed and put together by this couple they're married um they're a gay couple and they live in new york and it says here they're the leading floral design studio um, of putnam and putnam so i had a little read through this book just to understand uh, their history and it seemed that uh, when they met one of them was a photographer and the other one had a keen interest in bouquets and uh, he would put bouquets together and take pictures with his then boyfriend and they would put them on social media and this is how they grew from basically that and very quickly people picked up their talent and things um, went on from there to then them opening their own floral studio. So um, their thinking behind this book and in general behind their um, brand is that you look at a flower um, as a color and then you find a way to put it together. So the bouquets are put together with a very strong understanding of color. And um, it starts with white flowers and it finishes with almost black flowers so it guides you through the entire color um, spectrum of flowers and they're beautifully arranged so you can see this is pretty much the style of every page so on every page you get a new flower um, in terms of the variety so there are some of the flowers that have many different varieties and i will show you in a minute um, which are scattered through the book according to the color palette so um basically let's see so this this um arrangement is kind of shows off the flower in the way that they're positioned the the flower, some of the flowers to be tall and then sort of lower down as well so it fills the page nicely you're not just looking at one flower but you're kind of looking at an arrangement which I think is a very neat idea and that is essentially what it is and I will show you so here are some peonies they have if you're a huge fan of peonies like I am um, there are so many varieties in this book that is very very um yeah, very helpful if you, especially if you want to source some special varieties and you can learn a lot about them. So now you can see we're going into, um, into the lilac-y, pinky colors and now sort of purpley colors and then it goes 
into these greeny brownies so they're all arranged so if I did a little flip through you can see from yellow different shades into different shades of orange etc so this is how the colors are just to give you an idea of the colors and it finishes with a very dark almost black um, flower and that is I believe this color but I just want to double check yes so this is the color lily and it's the black star so it's stunningly beautiful and um, the other thing to say is so the presentation um, of the flower name and the title is right in the um, left corner always on every page and first you get the common name that you know a lot of people would know these flowers by and then you get the the I, I assume the botanical name for it then you get the variety and lower you get the it says here gesture and texture so it actually tells you what uh, to use the flower for or what they would use this flower for in their bouquet with the, so in this case it would be for a gesture and for texture um, then let's look at the bearded iris so this is iris germonica black knight and it says here face so they would use this as the main um, attraction and then the last line here it says when the flowers season is so in this case it's summer and here it's spring which brings me on to the next point so as i have mentioned they have photographed 400 flowers um, cut flowers for this book and they have taken i believe it was year uh, 12 months to go through the entire year of the best um season for a for the specific flower that they were photographing so they wanted the flower to be in its best condition and to shine and look the best that the flower could so that's another thing great that obviously because they're photographing the flowers themselves they ensured that the flower is in its best state um so that is what this book is all about and other than the obvious um which is it would make a stunningly beautiful little coffee table book if you have no children running around <laughs> um but yeah it um other than that it's just such a huge inspiration and you can find so many different flowers to sketch and illustrate so look at this one peony this is a lady gay how beautiful so one thing i wanted to show you is the peony now uh, like i said if you're a peony lover you will love this bit but actually just before that right at the end uh you have so at the end of the book after the dark flowers you have a little bit of extra bits and pieces here so you have some space to make notes uh, it says here before you shop so you have a little information basic flower care and so they're just giving you tips essential tools and let's see preparing vessels and suggested color palette so this is interesting so this actually is quite useful so if we're looking here at orange peach and gold with pop of blue so they're basically looking at the old color wheel okay and they're they're creating this atmospheric um color play which basically is quite harmonious um so then if you're looking at lavender chartreuse and dark green so all of these you could actually look at them and create your own little doodles of bouquets following this color palette which is super super useful i mean this is uh you know they could charge for something like that because they're obviously professionals and them giving this tip away so then afterwards you get this little flip through which is very quick um to find the right if you're looking for a specific color uh you can just flip through and find this um this color 
and the flower. However, it does not tell you the page that it's on, so you would sort of go roughly um, into the right area of the book. But um, the pages, or yeah, these pages are perforated, so I'm not entirely sure. I would not dare um, tearing out these precious little pictures here, but for whatever reason, you could do that. And I want finally, I'll just let me give you a little flip through like this so you get again get to see the color palette and the variety of flowers. The variety is stunning. There are some flowers which I still you know, new to me and I, I can't believe that there are flowers out there that I haven't seen yet because I have so many botanical um, books that at this point I would think it's impossible but no, they still have quite a few flowers here which uh, were new to me. And then finally you have the index of the botanical names and then thereafter you have the common names, so something that, uh, you know, if, if you're not... Uh, familiar with the botanical names then you would quickly find. So let's now look at peonies. So what I would do is go to the common name and then have a look at this. So you've got peonies and um, there are so many of them. So you have even a tree peony and the tree peony alone has six um, varieties here and then a huge number of the other peony varieties. So I did want to show you a couple which I thought were absolutely mesmerizing. If you didn't know that a peony can be a tree, then I highly recommend you um, research that subject matter because they are just the most stunning thing ever. And here is one. So this is a tree peony. So this particular one is Pionia um, Safracticosa, I think, copper kettle in simple language. And it says here it's face. I'm not surprised. It's an absolutely stunning, stunning flower. And then spring. So their flowering uh, season is spring. So I just absolutely love the uh, kind of ombre of this peony, how it goes into this orangey tea kind of um, color and then almost English rose type of petals with a bit of more yellow at the ends and then more dirty kind of lavender with a bit of pink right in the center. It's just absolutely beautiful and you can see it opens up more as a pinky flower and then uh, looks like that once it's fully open. So Let's have a look at another tree peony, which is 249. Um, I have planted a tree peony in my garden, so hopefully I'll see some flowers next year. They can be pretty, pretty stunning. And the good thing about this um, is that it obviously looks like a little, it has like a bark trunk to it very thin at first and then it grows into something bit, a bit bigger and they just look beautiful so look at this one isn't that just stunning my hands are literally itching to do a lot of floral um, illustrations and doodles and just be inspired by the color palette I mean colors and flowers is, uh, is, a, is a very strong passion of mine and so yeah I absolutely love it so that's it for this book and I would highly recommend it if you are into flowers, whether from a gardening per perspective, because you know you can obviously look at the varieties and then try to find them and plant them in your garden, or whether for watercoloring purpose where you could just use this as a source of inspiration. Um, yeah, just absolutely beautiful, beautiful book to have. And I will link um, this book on Amazon because you can get it for cheaper. So I had to pay almost £25 at an art shop in a museum. But you can find this book uh, for cheaper. I think less than 20 or 20 pounds so at least five pounds less on amazon so make sure you check out those links and thanks for watching and see you soon